Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. It's at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 531 and then uh, JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. Uh, this is Friday, the last day of July. Um, yeah, I've got some some reorders show up, and also some other action figures show up. Showed up early, so we're going to do an unboxing of those, and just show just some of the stuff on the wall here, just real quick to some of you folks. I know that probably have wanted to wanted to see some of some of this stuff and show some of that stuff to you and there was a collection I looked at last night about nine boxes maybe ten boxes give or take uh, we're going to talk about talk about that a little bit too um, as far as what was in there and if I'm going to be able to get this collection I certainly like to get the collection um, you know, um, there is a uh, Spider Woman one through fifty, two number ones, Marvel Spotlight number thirty-two, uh, She Hulk, the original She Hulk series, what one through twenty-five, I believe it was, uh, the entire Dazzler series, uh, the entire Ms. Marvel series, one through uh, twenty-three. Uh, a number six uh, was a 35 cent issue. There is uh, some Star Wars issue, early Star Wars, including a number four 35 cent issue, um, a Black Panther number four, the Jack Kirby run. Number four was a 35 cent issue. Uh, 2001, a Space Odyssey, I believe. A number number nine, I think, might have been a 35 cent issue. Uh, the Ms. Marvels uh, issue six was a 35 cent issue, um, and let's go over and we'll take a look at some of uh, some of the other uh, lists uh, that I had on there. There was a lot of stuff he had. He had about four or five boxes that were all in order, and the other stuff was not in order. Uh, one through four of the original Wolverine miniseries. What If 17 and 33, Tomb of Dracula 50, There's Wolf by Night number 42, a bunch of uh, Vampirillas. That's the uh, Vampirilla magazines that he had that were available. Uh, Champions 1 through 4, 7 through 10, a 13, uh, Conan 23, 24, Dazzler 1, like I said, 1 through 42, Micronauts 1 through 59, uh, Marvel Chillers 3 through 7, uh, Marvel Premiere 52, 53, Marvel Feature 1 through 6. And I'm going to grab that phone real quick. Well, there's stuff on the Marvel 2 and 1. There's an issue 32 that was a 35 cent uh, variant. Son of Satan 1 through 8. Uh, Human Fly number 1, 35 cent variant. Bunch of Howard the Ducks. Uh, Jungle Actions. Uh, Punisher 1 through 5 of the miniseries. Uh, Spectacular Spider Man. There's one. Uh, Avengers 196, Annual 10. Uh, 194, 195 of uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. Unfortunately, no Hobgoblin issue. Uh, there is um, a lot of a lot of stuff, but not a lot of keys. There were some Adam Hughes um, uh, Tomb Raiders in there. There are Adam Hughes Catwomans that were in there. But uh, hoping to get this collection maybe in the next uh, week to 10 days. So we'll see a lot of stuff that needs to be put in order and rebag. But let's get these uh, boxes cracked open. We've got Mr. Mr. Smith helping, of course. Uh, this box came in uh, a couple of days ago, and I opened that up right away. It was pointless just to do a video for just one box. So let's see what's in these here. I mean, I know what's on the side, so you get a chance to see what's inside as well. There are more of the McFarland DC figures. So let's get these things cracked open. And I think these are all comics in this box here. Comics and hardcovers and stuff of that nature. 
So get these boxes opened up. And somebody just walked in, so I'm going to pause the camera quickly and go see if I can help them quickly. Okay. We'll start with the uh, box that I opened the other day. These are Superman uh, action figures, modern Superman action figures. So let's get this, get this out of here. Let me just take a quick look at these, quick gander. I've already sold a couple of these, but there's that's what it looks like. Pretty neat, much larger than your normal DC figures. Based on uh, Jim Lee's Superman illustration. Okay. Let's move to this next box. This is going to be Superman Batman figures, so I'm not sure exactly. It might be more of these Superman figures. Yeah, it's more of the same Superman figures and the Batman figures which was Batman from Jim Lee based on uh, Detective 1000. So that's what's in that box. Let me go ahead and seal that back up. This box here. Let's see what's in here. These are the armored figures. Of course, you saw the Hellbots. Or Hellbats, the Batman Hellbats or Hellbots, the Hellbat suit. We had those, we've had those in, so we just got some more of those back in stock. And then we've got the armored Superman suit, which he looks like he should be fighting the Power Rangers. But that's a nice, nice paint job. That's a metallic blue and red. Boy, that's that's sharp. It's the unchained armor. Pause this quickly so I can put these back away and we'll get to the next box. Okay, Got this box here. These are animated series figures. So there's Superman animated series. Looks like he has to pee. Look at his legs there. He's been in that box a long time and he's really gotta go. You know, he even bent a steel girder because he has to go so bad. See, there's one John Stewart in here. John Stewart looks pretty, pretty badass. I don't know why they made him bald. Uh, give him his fro back. You got the constructs there, a couple constructs which are cool. We got that. And then we got got the Bat Bat right there. There's the Bat Bat. And he's looking all buff and everything. He's looks mean and he's angry because there's the lights out. But look at that, you got that yellow oval. That's very cool. So let me put this back and pause this. Okay, let's see what's in these two boxes here. Should be some comic reorders. Aha. Copy of uh, the Sandman. This is volume two, the Dow's House. So we got that trade back in stock. And glad to have gotten one of those boxes. I just won't use one of those boxes. The other day to ship some stuff out, and they're really good shipping boxes. I enjoy the hell out of them. Okay, let's see what's in here. Because this is not the usual box sent to uh, for. Okay, these were not comics at all. I am I'm very surprised. There's a box of comics I'm waiting on that I guess Monday. I guess I'm getting in Monday now. Got the Predator, got the Alpha. Or or the yeah, the Alpha Predator. This is the special edition 100th Predator figure. Special edition. And it looks like Jason uh I just want to say Jason uh, Pearson. That's not it. But look at this thing. Wow. Look how cool this Predator figure looks. 
pretty damn badass. Let's see if they give any sort of credit to the artist. Jason uh, um, Ed Edmiston. Oh, good, good job there, Jason. Let's see what else is in here other than predators. I was just talking to somebody just a couple of days ago about predators and uh, waiting on predators to ship. So I guess that comic box is coming out on Monday then. Here we've got more Star Wars. I'm a Padawans. And we've got this, this great book here, the Frank book. This is a life story of Frank Frazetta as told by his dreams. Now this is a Jim Woodrun's uh, Frank, Frank in the River. This is bizarre stuff, man. If this is based on his dreams, this is bizarre stuff. Look, look at that there, Frank's Feast. Look at him, he eats that egg. See old dead Frank. There's Pish Pond and Push Pin and God, just strange. He spent too much time in the 60s. There's Man Pig trying to get an education. Great stuff. That's the devil. See the devil in there. There's the devil again. Oh, that's not the devil, it's man pig. But let's find the devil here. There he is, there's the devil. Man Pig's got himself uh, education. Ah, oh, this is where he cut his leg open. Look at that. He wants to, uh, he wants to, he's looking at that metal and sees that silver metal. He wants to be like that. So he paints himself and then cuts himself. Look at that, that delicious pain. Look at that. Paints himself. Look at that. That's just some delicious pain there. As you're pulling that skin off, ripping that skin off. But again, Frank. Uh, the Frank book. This is, again, great, great stuff. By uh, Jim Woodrun. Give this book a, uh, give it 10, give it 11 stars. It goes up to 11. But if you guys do like these videos, as always, be sure, be sure to subscribe to the channel first and foremost, be sure to like the video, be sure to hit that bell for notification because you just never know what's coming in, because again, I wasn't expecting these, I was expecting funny books, I was expecting a bunch of funny books in there, uh, that's, that Sandman's part of my reorders, and uh, be sure to share on whatever comics uh, forum that you go on to. Other than that, hope everybody has a great last day of July and has a great first day of August. Thanks.